I don't want to do the skit tonight. I'm tired. Yeah, I don't really have anything funny. Um, hey, Joey, you got any B-roll? Have a good one, guys. See you next. The comic I've been waiting for all year is here. It's Doom Patrol number one by Gerard Away. You may remember Doom Patrol. It was a golden or silver age DC property that they turned into a really strange vertical property. Now it's back, written by Gerard Away, the writer of the Umbrella Academy. It's kind of a strange superhero book. If that's the kind of thing that you're into, check it out. And I've got All-Star Batman Issue 2. It's DC Rebirth. It's your Scott Snyder Batman. It's drawn by John Romita Jr. And it's got more than one face in it. Two-Face. If you're a big fan of Avatar, The Last Airbender, not Avatar the Blue People, then you'll want to check out Avatar The Last Airbender North and South. I thought that was the name of Kanye West kids. In other Batman news, I've got Dark Knight 3, the director's cut. It's all of the, the Dark Knight 3 minus the color plus the script. You have to go, man. And we've got Harrow County Volume 3. This is our favorite comic at the shop. It's Little House on the Prairie meets um, some horror thing. Lynch, that's a guy, right? Lynch? Yeah, what's that guy's name? The director, the... David Lynch? David Lynch? Yeah, yeah, it's like him. It's like Twin Peaks? Sure. Did he do Little House on the Prairie? No, it's like Little House on the Prairie meets a David Lynch thing. No, it's more like Little House on the Prairie meets Evil Dead. Fine. Uh, my boy Nick Spencer brings us The Fix. This is the first volume. It's got the uh, first story arc for only 10 bucks. It's, it's a cool little heist book with a twist in that uh, if you're trying to uh, transport drugs... What are you going to do when the drug dogs show up and they're adorable? What's the name of the drug dog? Oh, it's something really adorable. It's like Peanut or something like that. He's like the villain of the book, right? He is. He's like adorable, but also like not adorable. Oh, it's Pretzels. It's Pretzels, Pretzels the dog. For those of you waiting for Walking Dead, your wait is over. At least for the comic, the graphic novel. It's Walking Dead Volume 26, Call to Arms. This is right before the current Whisper Wars, but involves the Whisperers, and Negan may or may not be in it, which people watching the show will care about. Book's been as good as it's ever been. Check this out. If you're in the mood for some old school Punisher, this is the first 19 issues of Punisher War Journal. You got a whole bunch of different artists up in here, but you get a decent chunk of some Jim Lee doing the Punisher. This is definitely your late 80s early 90s jim lee but it's still really good doctor who is going old school i mean really old school like the third doctor old school this also features the assist assistant joe grant and the brigadier and there may be two doctors in this one two was a hint yep those were words all right we've also got this uh bombshells harley quinn figure it's a little you know, not human proportioned, but it is cool to get a Harley Quinn bombshell figure with a little pop gun and all that jazz. And last but not least this week, if you're in the mood for a gritty sci-fi murder mystery thing from Image, we've got Hard Hardens? Hadrian's Wall. Hadrian's Wall. It's a sci-fi thing. The art's really good. Who did the art in that? I don't know, but here, let me show you this. The yeah, check out that page. Oh, it's Rod Rice. Oh, it's Kyle Higgins. Oh, okay. I love me some Kyle Higgins. He's good. This art is awesome. It's worth it for the art alone. It's also a good sci-fi story. And uh, there's some drug abuse in it, if that's your thing. <laughs> he has to flush those pills. He's got a lot of pills. The art style is very similar to Ariel Olivetti. But like a slightly more dynamic Ariel Olivetti. In pop news, we got a bunch of pops. Last week we got Joker. This week we got Surf's Up Batman. He's got his swim trunks. He's got his surfboard. He's ready to take out the sharks. We've got Proto Man from Mega Man. Very soon we will have Dr. Wily, Mega Man, and Rush. We've also got Daisy Johnson. You might know her as Quake or as Sky, although she prefers to be called Daisy. And then we got two of the new imposter figures, 
We got the Harley Quinn Batgirl and the Two-Face Batman. Um, they're pretty self-explanatory, but they're really cool. If you have to have all Batman pops like I do, unfortunately, there are another bunch to buy. Um, you want to check out Hank's stuff on um, at Nerd Haiku Review and the website that I'm sure that yeah. the Twitter links to. Yeah. Also, you can finish pitching your stuff. It's finally back up. It took me two weeks and too much money and talking to Google domains, but the website's back up. So new review tomorrow. I'm debating what to do, but it'll be good. I don't want to do this anymore. Thanks for watching. Doom Patrol but, dog? So the debate is, do I want to hit Doom Patrol tomorrow when I'm sure their Twitter will be full, or do I want to save Doom Patrol for issue two when I'm sure there'll be less attention? Because I love the Doom Patrol. I might get more play on it an issue or two in.